Hello everyone and welcome to the 9th Chuai High 12 performance video in the series. Today I will be looking at the performance of a few different versions of Photoshop, starting with the latest version which is CC 2017. The reason why I want to test previous versions is because as you're about to see for yourself, CC 2017 doesn't work that well on this Chuai. The program itself doesn't take too long to load up. I'm going to jump straight into the performance review and not go over the interface at all since Photoshop is generally a well-known software, plus the fact that if you plan on getting a Chuai High 12 or have one, it's most likely you won't be using Photoshop. Having said all that, I'm putting this video out to you all just so that you know the problems I came across and understand the situation with Photoshop on Chuai High 12. Now usually I use an A3 canvas size at 300 dpi when I do any artwork, but I know from having tried Photoshop on this tablet previously when it was version CC 2016 that it doesn't perform too well, so I'll start with an A4 canvas at 300 dpi. Now you'll probably notice two things straight away. Firstly, there's quite a fair bit of pen jitter, and there's also a bit of pen lag as well. By pen lag I mean the strokes aren't catching up to the speed of the pen movement. The lag in pen strokes seems to get worse when brush size is increased, and what's worse is the random blobbings that appear. I've only gone from brush size 13 to 47, so it's not like I'm using a massive brush size. I also came across calibration problems. I've never come across any calibration or parallax problems when using other software such as Clip Studio Paint or Paint Tool Sci or even any of the Android apps that I've tested. Here on Photoshop I found selecting icons a little bit difficult, such as this little arrow here which switches the background and foreground colours around. When trying to press, the cursor seemed to be a little offset. I know the UI is calibrated correctly because I was only experiencing it in Photoshop. The pressure sensitivity is working on Photoshop, but because of the jitter I can't get smooth lines unless I make really fast strokes like I did here on these three lines. But reality is, I've never seen an artist draw line art so fast. It's possible to go at this speed when I'm sketching, but I could never get a neat line art by making my pen strokes this fast. Something that I noticed about the blobs that I was getting, it was happening when I was using a large brush size, but using very little pressure. It seemed to make the blobs appear. But on this line where I use heavy pressure, it doesn't seem to have any blobbing effect. I decreased the brush size to 17 to do some further line testing, in order to see what results I get with thinner brush strokes. As you can see, the lines produced are a little bit more jittery than when they were with the bigger size brush. There's a little bit of lag with the strokes, but it's less lag than with the thicker brush size. I'm able to create thickness in the lines, so pressure sensitivity is okay. Not the best in comparison to other softwares, but it's decent enough to work with. I knew the pen lag and the jitter would get on my nerves, but I still wanted to give it my best shot at trying to do a drawing on this program. In regards to getting smooth lines, I do have the smoothing option checked on the brush settings, but it doesn't seem to give the same kind of pen stabilisation that I get in Clip Studio Paint. Now all of these problems, it's not because Photoshop is really bad or anything. For those of you who have used Photoshop, you know that it's an awesome program. It's just the fact that the Chuai High 12 just isn't able to handle this program at all. It's got lags, it's got problems with the pen strokes, that it's not giving any smooth lines at all, no matter how smoothly I draw. And I guess the bottom line is Photoshop CC 2017 is just not usable on the Chuai High 12. So why is the Chuai High 12 not able to handle Photoshop? Well, it might be down to the fact that it's about 1.3 gigabytes on Windows, which is quite big, especially when you compare it to something like Clip Studio Paint X, which is only 168 megabytes, which means that Photoshop is about eight times larger in size compared to Clip Studio Paint X, but Clip Studio Paint X has pretty much all the tools an artist needs to make well, very decent artwork, in fact it's used professionally for manga. But what Clip Studio Paint doesn't have, which Photoshop does, is a vast variety in actions, the filters, the effects, there's all sorts of things in Photoshop which is more necessary for photo editing and graphic work. All the features in Photoshop make it a very versatile program and anyone can use it, designers, artists, photographers, one more thing that I want to mention is the rotation and zoom. It's not very smooth, it's more choppy sort of effect. I was trying to draw a cute little kitten with big ears, but because of the pen lag and all of that stuff, I just couldn't make a good job of it and I kind of gave up. 
So I think now's probably a good time to move over to Photoshop CS6 and see how that performs. Now I'm using the CS6 extended version and it's on trail because you can't buy this anymore. I do have a CD with the original version and a serial number somewhere, but since I'm only using this temporarily for this review, I didn't really want to waste my time looking for it, so we're just going to use the trail version. Once again, I'm going to be using an A4 canvas at 300 dpi. And as you can see there's lag in the strokes and what's worse is that there's no pressure sensitivity. Now I think it's down to the fact that Chuai Hai 12 used the WinTab drivers to make the pressure sensitivity thing work with their pen. But the older versions of Photoshop they don't use WinTab because the WinTab was not introduced back then. There's still a little bit of jitter, but it's less than what was in the latest version of Photoshop. So I suppose that's an improvement, but you know, still unusable. Finally, I want to just quickly try out the CS3. Now, I know this isn't going to have press sensitivity as well because, well, WinTab didn't exist back then, um, but we'll still give it a try and see what we get. The pen strokes on CS3 are somewhat a lot faster, like it actually catches up with the pen nib, which is a nice improvement, but on the other hand, I've noticed that if you draw a really long line, then towards the end of the line, it starts to go really laggy, and then suddenly when you move your pen away from the tablet, it kind of speeds up magically. And of course, we're still getting jitter in the lines, unfortunately. So all in all, Chuai Hai 12 kind of fails when it comes to Photoshop, but there are plenty of alternatives out there. It's just sad for Photoshop users really. I did have high hopes for maybe the older versions of Photoshop working better on here, but I just couldn't make it work, so well thanks for watching anyway. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!